Hello, welcome to the Water Cube uh, 2011 in Stockholm. Can you introduce yourself and show us your name tag, please? Yeah, okay. My name is, is over there. I'm mm -hmm. Dr. Dennis Biamukama. Mm -hmm. I come from APO. APO is the Association of Private Water Operators in Uganda. It's an organization that brings together the companies that are providing water supply services in small towns in Uganda. Wonderful. And this is your which number time here at World Water Week? How many times have you been here? Oh, this is my second World Water Week. Yes. I was first here in 2009. Mm -hmm. 2010 I didn't come, but I'm here again and I'm happy to be here. Good. Welcome. And what issues have, have brought you back here? What, what do you find important to be exploring this week? Okay, my coming here is a bit twofold. One, I came to attend the, the general sessions of the, the World Water Week. Mm -hmm. But I also came specifically to take part in the workshop organized by the Water Integrity Network where we are members at the national level mm -hmm. and we have been very much involved in the Water Integrity Network issues. And what other issues that are in Uganda would you want to bring to the surface here at Water Week? Yeah, okay for the Water Week, I think I'll focus mainly on the issues that I of, of water integrity, water service provision that I intended to discuss with yes. the, my, my colleagues in the Water Integrity Network. And these are issues related to promoting transparency, promoting accountability, and promoting general integrity mm -hmm. in water service provision. And this starts directly from the, the whole chain of, of implementation, starting from identification of the process, or of the project, mm -hmm stakeholder analysis, valuing the project, procurement, and up to service delivery. Because if, if any of those steps in the chain is, is not proper, then you are going to have a problem at the end of the service chain. Okay. And what is what are the goals maybe for the next year or for the next two years for Apple? Okay, for Apple, our, our immediate goals in relation to promoting accountability and transparency mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is that we are going, we have just signed a, a code of good conduct where our members are committing themselves to promoting integrity mm -hmm. and promoting professionalism and ethics in the service delivery and our immediate goals is uh, related to operationalizing the code of conduct and that involves sharing it with other stakeholders, the ministry, the local government governments we work with to make sure that we we don't clean our, our house and leave the, the houses of our our neighbors not mm -hmm. clean. Mm -hmm. So we must take the integrity issues to them and share with them our code of conduct and we would like also to, them to follow suit and uh, possibly have their own code of conduct. Great, thank you so much for your time today and for sharing that with us. It was a pleasure to talk to you, Helen. Likewise, thank you, Dennis.